Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Board Director's Crown of Champion from Bristol Motor Speedway. Welcome to Bristol. As we look at Ricochet and the 55 of Mike Fallon, go around the Coliseum here in Tennessee. Uh, let me remind you, this is the finale. This is the final race of the first season of the BOD series. Uh, so obviously, we're going to have someone going for a win. But the big important thing this week is we've got four drivers that can win the first ever championship here in the Board of Directors series. So the first driver is Ricochet. Uh, right there in front of him is the 55 of Mike Fallon. That is your second driver that can win it. There is Jordan. That is your third driver that can win it. And then we got one more driver, the dark horse of the race. It is the 42 of Logan Rock. Those are the only four drivers that can win the championship tonight. Obviously, we got 25 drivers that are going to go and try. Let me try that again. Are going to go try and get a win. But these are the guys we will focus on tonight. Uh, we'll see if maybe they can win the race and win the championship. But let's get into it and let's crown a champion. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to crown a champion. Are you ready to go racing? They're ready to go racing here at the last great Coliseum. Out of four they go. Julia will have the field in her hands. And green flag is out here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Dive into one. Jordan goes up high. Wow, here comes Ricochet on the bottom. Taco up into second pretty early. Wow, how about that? Cross the line, Julia will lead the first lap. Jordan still looking to get by the 50 of Taco, 68 following behind. They all fall in line here, all the way back to fifth with the Raz. And we got Captain and Pirate here battling for seventh place side by side. Gotta love Bristol with the high banking, the concrete. And uh, we've already got a caution out, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like Vuko in the 45 might have had some issues. Lap four of a big event here, and we've already got problems. Oh, wow. Yeah, you can see someone hit the wall pretty hard there. Wow. So the field will come and stack up here to catch up to the pace car. Let's go ahead and take a look at a replay here and see what happened. And the leaders are on pit road. It looks like everybody's going to come pit here. Uh, Bristol has the very interesting uh, front and back stretch uh, pit roads. But uh, some drivers will pit on the front. Some drivers will pit on the back. Uh, we don't have a full field here. So uh, most drivers will be pitting on the front. Saw Julia come in there. She's already out and gone. Uh, looked like for fuel only. 
Uh, so let's see what Jordan here does, what her teammate does. If he'll also get fuel only. You can see Pirate Man getting ready to come to his pit. Jordan's actually getting tires. Wow. Jordan's going to get four tires while everyone else looks to get, get either two tires or just fuel. So, wow, that's going to put Jordan way back in the pack. As up front, we still have the 75 followed by the 50 and the 54 and the 68. Wow, that, that could be big for Jordan all the way in the back there by getting four tires there. You know, lap four, I don't think tire, I don't think tire fall off really matters all that much. I don't know if that was really the best decision on Jordan and his team's part. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see how that works out for him. Right now, if it, if it were to end right now, Ricochet would be your champion. Uh, as he is only three points behind Jordan in first place, but that means he's got to finish four spots in front of him, and he is uh, quite a bit in front of him, as Jordan is currently right now scored 21st. Well, lap seven, and we've already mixed up a bunch of shit. <laughs> All right. Well, the pace lights are out here, and we're going to get ready to go back racing here at Bristol Motor Speedway here in Tennessee. Let's see, Logan Rock right there. That is your uh, fourth place driver uh, in the championship standings. He has the longest uh, or biggest, the worst, the worst chance. I don't know. He, he needs a lot to win this championship. Uh, he is currently sitting seventh. And Jordan and Mike are here in the back of the pack. But at the front of the pack, it is the 75 of Julia. She has the control of the field in her hands again. And we're green here at Bristol once again. Wow, Taka really seems like he really gets going on the initial start. Out of four, it is Julia who will hold on to the lead. We're all single file back here. There's Vuko sliding up out of the way. As Conrail and Alondo looks to go underneath him, and so does Jordan. Move Jordan up into 20th. Move him up a spot. He's now going to go look and get the 37 of Alondo. Logan trying to get past his brother, Captain, sitting there in seventh place still. No real changes up front. It is still Julia and Taco, and then Raz, Ricochet, and the 19 of Adam Irish. 26 and 42 here. Having a good little battle. As it looks like the 24 is trying to get underneath the 22 there. Out of, I believe that was two. They all look the same. That would have been for ninth position. Jordan still trying to get underneath that 37. They got a little battle there between David Garcia and Eric Estep. Eric Estep went wide. Whoa, Jordan got real loose there off of the turn, trying to get underneath the 37. Erica Step sending it in. Erica Step is in the wall. Ooh, that was close for Jordan, but he got by. Now Jordan's going to look underneath the 37 once again. This time, it looks like he will get it as he is now door to door with him. And clear the 57 up to 19th position. Up front, it is still the 68 who is in front of the points battle here. He is currently running fourth at Bristol, lap 18 of 125. Julia is still out front as she has led every lap so far of this event. 
Lovely little pace car shot. Got to get it every time. Now Jordan looking to get underneath the 44 here of Conrail and go get past that 55. Still a little boggled as to why that team would have come and got tires. Especially since we saw him get loose there off uh, whatever it was, turn two or turn four. Um, that really could have slid the tires and really messed up whatever gain he had. Here comes the 44, though, sliding up the track and 57 to come underneath. Jordan sends it into three. Out of four, he'll have the spot. Move the 57 up to the 18th position. Now as he tries to go get the 55 of Mike Fallon. Another bows up here. Logan's still sitting there in seventh. Bit of a gap here between uh, Julia, the leader, and then these four cars. Uh, all the way back to Adam Irish in fifth. And then Captain in sixth. And then Logan in seventh, as we said before. Conrail still struggling to keep it on the bottom as both Alondo and Mello are going by him. Here go Jordan taking a look under the 55. Ooh, won't have it there. Wasn't able to keep it in. Oh, as he sends it in and gets into contact with the 55 in the quarter panel. Now door to door as they go down the front stretch. And Mike goes wide and Jordan will move up into, what is that, 17th now? 16th, move Jordan up into 16th position. He's clawing his way back, but he's going to need a lot more positions than that. As Ricochet is still sitting here and actually, yeah, he's still sitting here in fourth. Out front, it is still the 75 of Julia. She has led every lap so far as we're coming to complete lap 27. She's still about, she's about a straightaway and a little more away from catching lap traffic. Uh, but at some point here soon, we will start to have the, uh, what they call the conveyor belt. As Jordan has also got by the four, so move Jordan up into 15th. Jordan is on a tear coming back through the pack. Now he's going to look to go get underneath the 97. Oh, sends it in there. Might have had contact in the quarter panel, but Jordan is not quite clear, but he will. He'll clear the 97 of Garth. Move Jordan up to four, 13th position. No, 14th. Yeah, 14th position. I can't count. As he's now going to try and go get Trumpet. Hmm, that'll be interesting. wonder if Trumpet will let him go. Wow, Logan really still trying to get by the 26th of Captain. We've been uh we've been focusing on we've been focusing on the 75 and the 57 for a lot of this event. Uh, their teammates at Real Jordan Racing and next season the 26 of Captain will join them. As you can see, uh, he's got that special number, the Nemco font, to sit, symbolize that change next year. Switching from Ford to Dodge and will be joining Real Jordan and Julia over there at Real Jordan racing so looks like Mike here still sitting in 17th position while Jordan is in this pack and has gotten around Trumpet and is going to get around Brent and maybe the 16 all in about a straightaway in a corner yes Jordan is by the 16 so move Jordan up to 11th position Jordan is tearing through this field I still don't think those tires were the best decision, but it seems like he's making it work and it's coming through the pack here. No changes here. Oh, Julia is catching him. Julia's about now straight away from catching Vuko and starting to get into lap traffic. So as there are no real battles here at the moment, we'll keep our eyes on the 57. Uh, he was your points leader coming into this race. Right now, Ricochet has it. But not by much because as we said, he needs four points 
to finish in front of Jordan. And right now, Ricochet's running fourth, and Jordan is trying to go get tenth. So, Ricochet is currently your points leader, and if it ended right now, would be the champion. But it's not as much as it was at that restart. So, Jordan still slicing his way through the field, trying to get by the 40 of Adam Garcia and that Coca-Cola Ford Mustang. Jordan was looking there out of two. Oh, and the 26 is wide, getting passed by both the 42 and the 77. So, I, I could only imagine the 42 sent the 26. Oh, we'll have to see if we have a replay of that. But Logan is now up in two sixths. So even though he's not currently uh, the top of the points, he has moved up one more position, doing what he can to get himself a better position. You got to imagine that 26 would uh, give way, or not give way, but not make it challenging for the 57 if he comes by him, as that will be his uh, boss next season. And Jordan is trying to get back up here and win himself a championship. Jordan's still trying to get by that 40. He keeps looking there out of two, but it looks like he uses uh, three and four to get a run. And then, there you go. You can see Adam doesn't quite stay on the bottom, and Jordan... It's enough for him to peek his nose in there, but I don't think it's enough to really, you know, throw it in there and make that move. One of these times, though, Jordan might get a little careless and just send it in. Get a little impatient. As the longer he goes here, the longer those treads go away and he won't be able to make as many positions. Or as many moves, as I should say. Uh, as we see the 75 here now catching up to the 45, going to get ready to go put Vuko a lap down. We saw Vuko was involved in that initial incident. Jordan still not able to get by that 40. Wow, Mike in the 55 has fallen back. Mike is now 21st. So unless they do something pretty wild, it looks like the 55 will not be a factor today. Adam was really high out of the groove that time. Still wasn't enough for Jordan to get his nose in there. So they pitted on lap. Lap four, lap five, somewhere around there. Uh, it is now lap 50. Uh, I would imagine here at some point pit stops are going to be a thing. Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. But it is lap 51 of 125. We are getting through this race pretty fast. And Jordan is still sitting here in 11th position. That's not where he needs to be. He needs some more spots. Here we go. Adam out of the groove. And now Jordan underneath. Jordan is door-to-door -door with the 40 down the front stretch. And as we've seen most of the race, the high side won't hold it. And Jordan will move up into 10th position. Jordan is getting closer and closer. And here we go. Some guys are pitting. The 77, the 26, the 50, the 45. I did not see Ricochet pit. Ricochet has not pitted. Neither has the leader. So there's Ricochet. Hasn't pitted yet. This could get really, really hairy, you know, with the guys coming out and then guys having to come in and pit. With that, though, that moves Jordan up into fifth position and Ricochet in third. That would be enough to move him into the lead. And here comes Ricochet into pits. And Julia. So that should make the 57 the leader here. Where is he? There he is. So this is going to trap a lot of guys two laps down, three laps down, until Jordan comes and pits. And Adam Garcia also staying out. Oh, Jordan did not pit that time either. Jordan's actually not the leader. Adam Irish is the leader there. 
Jordan's going to have a hard time driving with these guys because they're going to have so much fresher tires. You can see even the top there. Look at Balto really drive off the top. So Jordan in second. Has not pitted yet. Still hasn't pitted. So a lot of guys like uh, Julia and like Ricochet are two laps down at the moment until these leaders come and pit. Wow, it's only four of them out there. You got the 19 of Adam Irish. And there's Adam Irish pitting. So Adam Irish has come to pit. As Trumpet is now holding off the lap car of the 12. I don't, I don't know if I'd hold him off too long. So that would move the 57 into the lead. And here comes the 57 and the 40. So this is the last of the cars to pit. There goes Julia by. She was the leader. We'll have to see where this cycles out. I I don't imagine staying out longer would help you. I, I imagine this would hurt you. I don't know. We'll have to see. They did get guys trapped two laps down. Wow, Julia, three wide. They're out of four. And here's Jordan into his pits. Jordan's going to get four tires once again. Caution flag is out. Oh, Julia was involved. So was the 68 of Ricochet and the three. Oh, some of your leaders were involved. Oh, Vuko is... Stuck in the wall. <laughs> Not a good day for Vuko. Um, wow. The 75 of Julia and the 68 of Ricochet were both involved in that accident. Jordan, who was your leader at the time, was on pit road. I don't know what this is going to do. They're going to have to come by and sort it all out. Wow, Taco, who was having an amazing run, has that engine expired, I assume, from contact. So while everyone comes around here and sorts this out, as you see Julia coming to pit, uh, we're going to go take a replay and see what happened there. We saw Julia was three wide as we were watching uh, the 57 pit. As the pace lights are out, let's get you caught up on what uh, what has happened here. Uh, so all these guys in front are what are considered a lap down, or what would be wave around. Uh, they're all on the lead lap because your leader is the 57 of Jordan, all the way here in the back, along with Adam. Adam Garcia is currently second. Uh, so all these guys in front of him are one lap down. Uh, the 55 of Mike Fallon is one lap down. The 68 of Ricochet is fifth. And the 42 of Logan is right in front of him in fourth. So Pirate takes the green here, but the leader is the 57 all the way there in the back. This is going to be really interesting to see what these guys can do. Wow, so we got three wide here up at the front. Almost four wide. As Pirate might have been in the wall. Ooh, Pirate squeezed out of four there. Oh, there's Julia coming back into pit. She 
She had led every lap so far. Oh, Ricochet all the way to the inside. Ricochet is upside down. Jordan gets through. The 26 of Captain is in it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ricochet out. That was a hard hit for the 68 of Ricochet. And that will do it for the 68. Ricochet had such an amazing season. So consistent. So fast. Was the fastest car the first half of the season. Uh, had, had a bit of a fall off there. But now... Just like Carl Edwards was at Homestead, uh, he is now out of the championship from that wreck. You can see it on the scoreboard, 68 retired accident. What a heartbreak for that 68 team. What a heartache for Ricochet. As here comes Jordan into pit. So, that will catch a lot of guys up including the 42 and the 55. The 55 of Mike Fallon was only eight points behind Jordan. But, as we've seen, these restarts are pretty insane. So, anything could happen at this point. We're lap 72 here into the 125 lap event here at Bristol Motor Speedway. Let's take a look again at that incident between Ricochet and whoever else that was. I didn't quite, my attention was on Ricochet, I apologize. Uh, but let's go take a look at that incident one more time and see what happened to the 68 of Ricochet. As we line up here once again, uh, once again, heartache for that 68 team. That is terrible. Um, but we got a race to finish. One driver's out. We got three drivers left. Uh, Jordan sitting there in third uh, is currently the leader. Uh, the 55 of Mike Fallon there in seventh position. And behind him is Logan Rock in eighth. So here we go. Once again, we are lined up. Jordan is starting in that same position Ricochet did where he got turned. Who knows what could happen. Green flag is out once again here at Bristol. Wow. The 16 did not get going on that bottom lane. So move Adam Garcia out front here. Leading at Bristol. It would be very fitting if Adam Garcia could win today. He had a very good program at... Martinsville before he ended up blowing up on lap 30 I believe it was there's Julia once again coming into the pits we have a caution once more looks like the 22 was in the wall maybe the 17 and the 97 we have another caution here looks like another incident there in turn 3 they keep wrecking there in turn 3 So let's go ahead and see what happened there in turn three. Uh, and we'll come back for the restart.
here comes the leaders into the pits. I tell you what this is helping, though. This is helping some guys get back on the lead lap. Uh, we currently have 11 cars on the lead lap. But here comes the 40, the 54, the 57, and the 33 all into the pits. Is that all the leaders? Did some stay out? Oh, there's the rest of them. So there's the 42, the 77, the 4, the 12, the 22, the 55, everyone else. Oh, Adam Garcia, contact there with the 12. So Raz decides to take four tires. So move Jordan into second, but also move the 55 into third. This is the highest up. That 55 has been all night long. As the lap cars here lined up on the bottom, we are ready to go racing once again here from Bristol Motor Speedway here in the last great Coliseum. It's lap 81 of 125. We've had a uh, trouble here to stay green, but the pace car is off, and we will go at it one more time. Here comes Adam Garcia to the line, and we are racing once again. 16 once again does not get going on that bottom lane. Oh, Nate really slid up there into the 77. There's Captain. That would move Adam Irish back into uh, the lead lap and the 26 as well, possibly if he gets by the 40 here. Jordan's got to watch it there on that bottom. We saw what happened to Ricochet. Oh, Jordan looking to squeeze in there. Got to think about the big picture. I don't know if. Oh, I don't know. Got to be careful. Him and Captain, they're battling it hard as Jordan gets by the 40 into three and will take the lead here for the first time tonight. Jordan is your leader here at Bristol Motor Speedway. As we have a battle back there for third. Adam Irish is leaving the pack. He, he is trying to stay on the lead lap and do it the old fashioned way. As there is a bottle. Ooh, the 3755 got into it there down the back. 55 still going strong. I saw Nate was battling up there with the 77. He must have got loose there and way fallen off. As now the 54 is going to go underneath him. Captain's still stuck on the outside there. Captain was trying to follow Irish and get back on lead lap, but that did not quite work out for him. We see Julia in the pits there again. How many laps is she down? Six laps down for the 75. Quite unfortunate. She led the first half of this race. There she is out once more. As they've gotten single file once again. Here is uh, David Garcia trying to go get fourth from the 55. What a good run for that four team. Uh, last week they were mathematically within a shot of winning the championship, but it didn't quite work out. He had a pretty high chance. Wow, the 55 was really wide there out of two. He's now going to battle with the 77. Of Pirate Man, last week's winner here for fourth position. He's going to lose that. Here comes Brendan underneath. He might lose this one as well. This is all making the 75 of Jordan really comfortable right now. 
as Ricochet was eight points back of him. And that is only going to increase as we have another caution. It looks like the 54 might have had an issue there of Raz. Your two-time winner here. Yeah, it looks like he might have had an issue in three there. So we are under a caution once again. Lap 94 of 125. We're almost there. We're almost there to crowning a champion. Jordan is your leader. He is the points leader. Uh, could he do the sweep? Could he both win the race and win the championship? We'll have to see. Uh, let's cut back and see what happened to what I believe was Raz there in turn three. cars come up to the front to line up once again uh, we are going to get ready to go racing here once again uh, they're going to take the green with that'll be 27 laps to go so we have 27 laps left here at Bristol Motor Speedway that's not a lot of laps but gotta see, gotta see if we can stay out of trouble uh, the field is in the hands of the 57 of Jordan Teagues. And we are green once again here at the last great Coliseum. Jordan absolutely clears it into one. They're looking three wide back there with the two Garcia brothers. Oh, Adam's in the wall. Oh, they're four wide out of the corner. Everyone had to back out of it. Nate was in the wall as well. I saw him get real high there. That's nothing new for Nate. <laughs> anyway. Um, <laughs> so good little battle back here. Good little pack. As Brent was looking to go three wide once again, we saw that didn't work the first time. Oh, Brent's going to squeeze it in there. Oh, and Alondo and the 22. Oh, and the 55's in it. And the 42. Oh, that, 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 that's, that's a lot of the field. The 55 and 42 both got into it there as they came back up into the track. I don't think they're killed, but uh, 42's got a lot of damage to the back. 55 looks okay. Um, it was realistically a long shot for them, especially the 42. Uh, but it looks like they're still rolling. Uh, 42 has a lot of side damage and rear damage. Uh, 55's got some side damage as well. So we are under caution once again. Uh, let's go back, take another look at Alondo and what happened there between him and Brent. As we line up once again, uh, it is lap 106 of 25, 20 laps to go here at Bristol. Uh, so they will take the green with 19 laps to go. Got a 
Got to be a little more careful coming off that bottom. That is the uh, second, third, or fourth time we've seen that happen. There's the 37 of Alonda who was initially involved in that accident. Uh, he, he didn't get quite as hard of a hit as Ricochet did earlier in the race. Um, but once again, they're coming out of four, and the field is in the hands of the 57. And we are green once again here at Bristol Motor Speedway. 19 laps to go. 19 more laps for the 57. Can he hold on and win the championship? He's doing it so far as he got a good restart there. Here comes the 42. Looking to go underneath the 40 and 77. So 42 with Logan <clears throat> has moved up past the 40th into 4. 40, 40th, 40. Uh, yeah, I'm going to see him. Looked to stuck his nose there, but it didn't work. Logan is itching to get to the front. Oh, Adam. Not Adam. <laughs> Pirate was really loose there off the bottom. Sixteen laps to go here from Bristol as this is the battle for second at the moment between the four, the 77, and the 42. 77 has it. 42 will follow. Now will the 42 challenge the 77 for second position? Excuse me. As Jordan is straight gone. Two second lead. Over the 77 of Pirate. Everyone seems to be single file now. And <laughs> there aren't many cars left on the track. As we have 15 cars left. We have 10 cars that have retired from this race. They're all single file at the moment, but the leader of the 57, two second lead over 77, he is gone. As they come around this time, it'll be 11 laps to go. From Bristol, 11 more laps for the 57 until he's a champion. Out of four, he'll reach the line. Ten laps to go here for the 57. Jordan has had an up and down season. All the way from doing really good at, you know, like Brist, no, not Bristol, Martinsville in Kansas, to having a, uh, a dog shit run at, Brist, at Daytona where he said he was going to fire his engine builders. But he has turned it around, ladies and gentlemen. It all started at the All-Star Race when he won that event, got those bonus points. He turned it around, and since then, he's been clicking them off. Uh, it has helped some that Ricochet has had some bad luck, but we can't say that was the sole purpose, as this 57 and that team have clicked them off one by one. Good race, good race. Almost a win, almost a win. Uh, it's not just been him, too. Uh, Julia has been really good as well. Uh, as you saw, Julia was, she led half of the first of this race every lap, too, uh, until she got involved in that accident. Uh, we've had a lot of accidents tonight. As we said, uh, 10 cards retired from the race. But Jordan has dodged them all. He's got a little bit of damage there on the left side, but he has missed them all. And he's got... Five more laps to do it, ladies and gentlemen. Out of four, he'll see four to go at the line. Jordan is four laps away from being the inaugural champion of the BOD series here on NR 2003. Out of four, three to go at the line. Jordan staying on that bottom. Nice and smooth. Long gone from the pack. Three and a half seconds. Almost four. Two laps to go at the line. Jordan's got two more times around the last great Coliseum here in Bristol, Tennessee. Into three and out of four. Jordan will see 
the white flag. This is the last lap of the first season of the Board of Directors series. Into three, it is smooth sailing for the 57. Ladies and gentlemen, we have crowned a champion. It's Jordan Teagues. Jordan Teagues is your race winner as well as your champion here in the BOD series. Uh, let's go through the rest of the running order here. Uh, Pirate Man will finish second. Logan Rock, in a valiant effort, will come home third. David Garcia in fourth. Uh, Mello in fifth. Trumpet in sixth. Uh, where is he? The 55. He's on the back somewhere. Oh, he's gone. Uh, the 55 of Mike Fallon will finish seventh. Adam Irish in eighth. Adam Garcia in ninth. Tenth will be Nate. Nate got a top ten. The 22 of Brent will be 11th. The 17th of Eric Estep will finish 12th. Uh, Captain will finish 13th. Hayden 14th. Uh, Londo is still out there, 12 laps down, making a lap, but he is 15th. And then we get down here to the bottom of the rest of the field, uh, including Julia, who retired. She led earlier in the race. Uh, Ricochet again, the heartbreak, finishing 20th. Uh, and then Vuko, who was the first accident. We'll end up finishing last. Vuko with, once again, another last place finish, unfortunately. But that will do it for the first ever season in the Board of Directors series. And we have a champion. It is the 57 of Jordan Teagues. Congratulations, Jordan, on your championship. Congrats to your team. And we look forward to seeing you in Season 2. Stay tuned. Join the Discord so you... Get a bunch of news, get a bunch of behind the scenes, and uh, we'll see you for season two over on the Border Series YouTube channel. We'll have a link for that down in the description. Thank you so much for watching the first season. I hope you enjoyed it, and once again, congratulations to the 57 team of Jordan Teagues.